Beautiful people, hello, I'm Alex from Opa Music. I am doing a new video right now, me talking, it's not normal. If you have seen my channel before, I don't normally talk, uh, but I think this mixer deserves that. Uh, in my channel, if you have seen, I have always made some tests without talking, just trying if it sounds good or not, uh, EQs and so on from other mixers. I have owned the Resort mixer, Master Sounds mixers, Zone mixers, Pioneer mixers, uh, controllers and so on. I, I am not the, the guy that tests everything, like DJ City for example, he's, he's an expert reviewing things, I love his channel. Uh, cheers <laughs> if you uh, one time see this channel. Uh, but yeah, I will not also go in detail of all the functions, what it makes and so on. It's not the intention of that. The intention is to help you if you want this mixer. If you are not a techno or a producer, uh, because that's I was a little bit uh, skeptic of this mixer. Oh, it's maybe just for producers and just house uh, techno DJs, hard techno and so on. Uh, I am a house, deep house, also techno, but more not so crazy techno. So I like all genres, actually. Uh, disco also and so on. And the question is if this mixer could also be for house DJs. Uh, I have the opportunity to test it, to have some, some several weeks to spend to know this mixer. So I will give you some tips, some experiences of that. Uh, if you want the function, each function, each knob, how what it does and so on, go to another video. If you want some tips about the experience, stay here. So I will go from yeah, let's start about the size. Maybe the size is uh, very compact in comparison to the Zone 96, for example. Uh, it's, it's very small. It's like like this. It's in the praxis, it feels good, but it, you have enough enough place. One point, I don't like it. I haven't tried the, the effects, but if you want this channel as an effects, and you are using the effects number one, here you have this knob that really uh, uh, affects your your turning. It's not good positioned. Maybe here or something here you have a space for example that will be better because here if you adjust the effect normally you make it like this very fast and here it's not a good point. So here it's a bad issue. <laughs> you need to, to change that I think. Uh, but talking about this knob that it's here, it's amazing. I haven't seen that in, in, in other mixes before. So here I will just uh, activate the Q. And what that does is that increase just the light, the brightness of the, of the LEDs. Just of the buttons, these buttons for example, also the filters. Um, Look, this is not activated if you are in a dark room, so it's be it's very good. If you are outside with a lot of sun, as you can see, oh my god, the camera is very bright right now. Uh, it goes directly to your eyes, so maybe if you are outside you need sunglasses, or if you, if you have the max level of this, you need sunglasses, because it's really affecting your eyes. It's, uh, but it's very nice to have this option here. I, I like it a lot and thank you uh, Richie Hawking and the other guy Andy Rigby Jones to make that because all the mixers should have this. Uh, I have just seen it in, in Tractor but it, that's in a software in a program that you can also increase the, the brightness of the, of the uh, buttons. So um, connections I not exotic guy so I have just Air RCA's and XLR's for that I'm have connected to my turntables and my Denon uh, player and interesting point is this record out is just uh, auxiliar tri uh, 3.5 millimeters so it's uh, it's a very 
uncommon, I will say, but let's see how it works. I have some, I have made some uh, DJ sets, and let's see how the sound goes out from this record output. Uh, for me, the winner in the record output is this beauty, Resor Rotary Boutique Mixer. Wow, the sound, maybe you have, you have heard that in my YouTube DJ sets. Wow, there it's crazy. Let's see here. I cannot say now. So I'm making the first uh, talking video. Maybe you can uh, judge better. Uh, so here are the effects. Uh, returns 1, 2. Auxiliary, I haven't tried them, so I will not speak about them. Um, I will speak about the trim of each channel. It's very good because the same level of the turntables is the same as my my uh, Denon DJ, almost the same. I have always maybe on the 2 p.m. activated, so I have I have really go all the way up with my records or with the low pressed records, really not. It's it's very good phono preamps. I like it a lot, and the line pre uh, line uh, inputs are also on the same level. I like it a lot. I don't like to like this and then with the audio like this. So all all in the same uh, level. That's very nice. You can activate the different line phono or this up. I have no idea what this up is, so I will not speak about that. Maybe if you are a producer, a producer or you use that function, put it in the comments. I will be glad to, to learn about that. Uh, here you can see maybe this uh, small button here. As you can see, it's not activated actually. It's all the way down. But if you have here the, the phono uh, input activated, it's, you can see through. So, so that's uh, not so good point because you think uh, maybe oh, it's activated, but it's not. If you want to activate it, you need to, to turn it and you start seeing a light. For example, there, you see a light right now. Uh, and this drive function is the best function I have seen in all the DJ mixers in my life. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but this sound or this drive function is exaggerating the sound. It's wow. You feel that you are in the club, even if I am in always in my room, I put it, I increase it. And wow, the sound, it goes like you are there, like a, a room at a room, embrace you, hug you. I, I don't know how I could describe that, but wow, I love this function. So look, maybe you can hear a little bit. Wow. I will activate it all. Of course, you can hear some distortion, of course. That's not the point. Or maybe if you want, also I have tried some records and it sounds like a lo-fi. That's also very nice if you want to add that uh, to, your, to your music. To your house. I, I think normally it's just for techno DJs, but it's not. I need to tell you right now. It's not also, not just for techno DJs. This is also for house. This is just to add a vibe into your music that it's... Wow! It's... it's I love this function. Amazing, amazing work. So, one point, I, I don't like it, actually, is that you start turning it up and you don't see nothing. You don't see, you don't see, you don't see, you don't see, but it's in your loudspeakers, you, you can hear it. And now it's activated, for example, but it's too much. So I think it could should be more sensible, this, this knob increasing it, that you really see, okay, now it's activated. Because you can have it like this, and you listen in the loudspeakers, but uh, 
is not blinking there. So, a point to improve, but try function, please. Please, Allen and Heat, in all your mixers, add this function. So, uh, master output here, you see your whole master output, including, for example, the drive function. As you can see, drive function also increase the volume a little bit. Uh, but, or uh, I haven't seen the, the, the signal flow, the signal path of that, but I think that this drive function is just affecting this, the, the master output, not the line output or input actually. Uh, here I cannot see when I increase a lot the drive, I don't see the effect here, but here yes. So, so just to consider that, it's anyway it's it, i think it's it's very good design like that so as you can see let's talk about the low pass filter it's really nice really smooth but in my opinion it's not progressive so here here in this from here to lpf i cannot really listen the highest goings uh, out until here I starting okay now maybe you can hear it let me increase a little bit now we're going out the highs and here there is a, a really I can I can detect a point that here where it says here uh, what's the name contour uh, the the mids are disappearing so as I mentioned it's not really progressive in my opinion it's it's just a feeling, I have measure, it says everything in the manual, but it's just my opinion. So I know already if I'm here, I cannot listen to the mids, or uh, not all, not uh, very pronounced, just to consider that. And here, for example, you cannot listen anymore. Wow, very smooth really really nice i feel like a rotary mixer here uh, also the same for the high pass filter is actually the same very very soft in my opinion not progressive but wow to make this progressivity that i expect from the other boutique rotary mixer for example you need to be very slow very slow that you can really feel that progressiveness I don't know if that's the right word for that but <laughs> so if I'm not speaking good English so it's no my problem <laughs> I'm not a native speaking uh, English so but I you get the point so a sculpt is a very very good function very good thought uh, you can cut for example here the bass it's on the 70 Hertz I can cut the bass in a very smooth way it's not the same as I use the master here, for example. You need to activate the master if you want to affect the, the loudspeaker, for example, and here. It's very aggressive. It's, let me, for example, like this. It's aggressive, and here. Very good just to, if you want to attain way to cut the 70 hertz uh, frequencies wow also here of course you can change the frequency you want to affect for example is here you can also cut just the the hi-hats and you can boost them so i like it in my way of work or when I'm mixing, I like to increase it when the vocals are very nice or some sounds, I want to increase them. In the deep house, for example, they have very nice sounds and so I, I want to increase them to, to make a more, uh, to, to make the environment of, of, the, of the sound more into it. So, uh, filters, sculpt, just is my opinion from the layout, just it's a problem here and also if you are using this channel it's also a problem here really if I want I need I have the, 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 the this kind of uh, connector for my headphones and for example if I want to make this 
I don't like this. It, it, it interrupts here. I need to use my left hand and I'm not left-handed. So I don't like really that. Uh, but just in this channel. Here it's not a problem. Here is also not a problem. The, the size or the, the distance between them, it's, it's, it's fine. It's not a problem. So, um, what else guys? Yeah, QA, QB, I just use QA. Source, Q and Mix, it's a knob to change it. It's very nice, the same, I think it's the same as Sound Mixer. I, I didn't detect uh, some differences actually. I normally, in the practice I use like this, maybe in a club environment, I haven't been in a club uh, using this, but maybe in the middle, it's, it's very high. The volume is very high and also very fat as the, of this uh, mixer. And that's how I want to describe this sound. Fat. <laughs> uh, sound is very subjective. It's just my feeling. Uh, it's very, very fat, detailed. Wow, the bass is very nice. In comparison to the Xone 96, in my opinion, in my uh, room, with my loudspeakers, with my subwoofer, I have a DIN Audio, if, if you want to know, and also the DIN Audio sub. Uh, the zone is missing a little bit of detail. Here you have the no detail, and the zone 96 is more focused, in my opinion, to the uh, low side, to focusing on low frequencies. But here it's an all-rounded fat sound. That's my perception of this. So amazing, amazing. In comparison to, to this beauty, to the Resor, I, I will uh, make a video talking about that, that mixer in the future when, when the other mixer comes. Uh, but Resor is purity, clear, transparent sound. And here it's a fat sound. It's just my how I want to describe that. I haven't measured it but it's how I, I perceive it. Uh, master sounds, it's in my opinion colored. It's, I, I'm speaking really in a, in a different level of mixers. So these are expensive mixers. These are top quality mixers, professional. So I'm, re, I'm being picky describing them. It's, if you want color, go to master sounds. If you want transparency, go to Resor. If you want fat sound, go to this one. If you want low bass, and, but also warm, I, I will say it, it's warm because they cut a little bit of the high frequencies. That's just my perception. As I mentioned, as I, mentioned I have measured it, but it's my perception. They cut the low, uh, high frequencies to, to make it sound warm, but sounds also very very nice in comparison i have also the the 23c sound 23 but that's <laughs> that's for 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 children <laughs> but it's also a, a good starting mix so I, uh, pioneer don't go with pioneer sound <laughs> uh, is i think for starting the best way but okay if you are in this uh, level if you want for house music it's also for house music i will make some dj sets using house uh, tracks and deep house tracks so you are not scared so oh my god this is just for uh producers and this is just for for crazy modular systems and oh my god i i am not a producer i am not um a uh, guy using modules and uh, crazy stuff crazy effects and so on i'm just a purist i like turntables i like also uh good tracks from my audio uh from my denon player i i just love music and this mixer in my opinion is very good if you want that it's not just for techno that's my conclusion for that and yeah let's talk about a little bit of the master here you need to activate if you want all the channels to be influenced from the master filter. It's here you can increase the, the resonance of course. Here it's it's very similar. 
than if you are using here this high pass filter, for example. High pass, very similar. I think that the, the crossover or the frequencies here it's, 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 uh, it's wider. You're taking more out, more frequencies out from instead of here, for example. Let's compare. Mm, a little bit, maybe here it's taking more uh, low frequencies. But yeah, I haven't seen the curves. As I mentioned, you can read it on the manual. And here for the highs. Let's compare it. Very nice. If you add the resonance, I think these this, uh, filters are better than the tone because uh, they are smoother, I, I think. For example, here, if you have activated here, also if they are flat, they are not flat. So I need to tell you because the resonance, if you are in flat mode, it's not flat because the low frequencies, it's here being pronounced actually. So you can hear more bass. In my subwoofer, I listen more bass. It's similar than the zone, but in my opinion, it's way, way better. I don't know why, it's, it's smoother. But yes, if you want to play like this, it's a no-go. Deactivate it if you are in a club, because if you have a very nice subwoofer there, uh, you will be adding bass. So you need always to disable or to decrease the resonance and you can have it like this. I haven't uh, uh, noticed some differences in the bass if, or in the highs if you are in the minimal resonance. So uh, another point, maybe you have, if you have seen other reviews from this mixer, the curve of, of this fader, I don't really like it. It's very aggressive. It's really, really aggressive. So for example, it's a lot. I can hear really a lot in this area. I look, it's a lot. The, the curve should be smoother in my opinion to to have a very nice. But the good side is that you can you can play like this. I will turn it up so that you can listen to me. Uh, you can all the way up, and you can of course use the beauty of the EQs. For example, if I want to cut everything, it's not possible. Also here, if I, for example, there, that's the lowest point I could get. But it's not a full kill. Maybe full kill here. Mm, also not. Yeah, but I like it because you can blend better. You can blend smoother. So all the way up is my my way of mixing in this mixer, and then playing with the with the filters and this sculpt uh, section. Very very nice. So here. The master uh, equalizer is more aggressive, for example. So, but it's very nice to have this option. Of course, if you have a very bad sound system, you can equalize it as you wish. That's very nice. Also the boot, boot uh, output, I don't use it, I just use, use the master uh, output. Equalize high filter and low filter and the label. And here is, uh, I speak also about the headphones. And yeah. So uh, that's all guys. It's just in the praxis how it looks, how it's working with this. It's really fantastic. Um, it's better than the, well, yeah, it, it really depends what you need. In my opinion, this for turntables and, uh, and uh, my Denon 
it's enough. I don't want any more. I don't need the sound, for example. It's too much, too much uh, send, return, and so on. Here you have it also. But these filters and this sculpt is way better than, than, than using four equalizer or two band equalizer uh, because you can tweak really the sound of you of you want. Look, let's increase something. Let's increase, let's increase the piano. Piano. I don't like the piano. <laughs> and this drive function, oh Maria, you need to add this in all uh, DJ mixers, please. Amazing function. So, uh, wow, 26 minutes, sorry about that. I hope you like it, just my honest opinion. Yeah, if you like it, these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments. Um, just my honest review about it. I hope it helps. That's my intention with this channel, to help you because unfortunately in the DJ industry, if you don't have a, a store that it's in the near where you live, to, to, you can try the mixers. It's not possible. The most of the mixers are sell on online because you see the reviews from the guys from YouTube and so on. So my intention is with these kind of videos to help you if you want a professional DJ mixer uh, to give you some tips, some ideas. Okay, I want this mixer, I don't like it. Please comment. Your questions are very nice to discuss with you. Uh, but yeah, that need to change in the future. In the future, you need to receive a mixer to try it and to test it because it's a music it's like an instrument you need to see okay that works for me or it doesn't works for me and i need to return it but the problem of boutiques mixer they are crazy expensive and fortunately i have the honor to have the mixers to try them and that's why i'm making these videos because i want to help you i want you to avoid to spend 3,000 euros or 2,000 euros or also to, to encourage you to spend that. That's just my intention. Uh, I hope you like it guys and we see us on the next time. Bye bye.